Wiring up to a select element is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is put the ng control attribute on it and set it equal to the property name for that control. So on the specialty sandwiches select element, I put ng control equal to the string specialty sandwich. And if I hop over to the browser and bring up the debug panel, you can see that the model property by default is null. And when I change it to a value, the model property gets set to a string value equal to that of the value property on the option selected. And I can hop back into the order sheet component TS file and set the default value on the specialty sandwich control to be cordon blue. And hop back into the browser and see that cordon blue is selected by default. Now let me go back and clear that default out in the code since I'm pretty sure the deli doesn't want to be pressuring all of its customers to order the cordon bleu, even though that one is probably my favorite. One pretty cool thing about the select element support in Angular is its ability to use objects as option values instead of just strings. I can add a sample property on the component class named cordon bleu item and set that equal to an object literal with a name property set to cordon bleu and a size property set to large and then hop into the order sheet component HTML file, and instead of the value attribute on the option for cordon bleu, I can replace that with a property binding of ng value in square brackets, and set that equal to the statement of cordon bleu item, the sample property I set up on the component. Angular has a directive named ng select option that has an input named ng value. That is what I'm setting here. Now if we head over to the browser and select cordon bleu, yes please, you can see that the form model is now showing that object that I created for cordon bleu item. And if I select something different, I get a string value, and back to cordon bleu, the object value. This makes it easy for you to potentially do things like have a select of billing addresses instead of just dealing with a list of IDs and writing code to do lookup or mapping, you can have the form keep track of selected objects with very minimal code to write. All right, let me just finish up by changing that ng value back to the attribute value and the string cordon bleu on the option element in the HTML template file. And back in the order sheet component TS file, remove that component property so customers are free of my sandwich opinions. So wiring up to a select form element is super easy and even has the added benefit of knowing how to work with objects as well as string values.